Hello my friends, if you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're returning, welcome back. My name is Alana, and here on Classy on the Run, we love talking about all things beautiful. Beautiful makeup, beautiful handbags, beautiful places to travel when not a global pandemic. And today, I am so excited because we're doing an unboxing. Now, I wish there was like a whole bunch of suspense, but you guys saw the thumbnail, you clicked the video, you know what's up. We are unboxing something from Hermes, and this is my first ever Hermes lipstick and my first Hermes boutique experience. We're gonna unbox this and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my experience and kind of why I wanted to go in. And yeah, so I'm gonna start by saying that all of this was for one tiny lipstick. So when I was done my purchase and I was walking, um, I popped into a couple other stores and I ran into a friend. Um, I'm gonna leave my vlog of my Hermes Holt Renfrew working at home kind of day up here or down here. I'm also going to include a tutorial for the makeup. It's both the makeup I'm wearing today and the makeup I actually wore in that vlog because my friend Emily wanted one and uh, I love to serve and uh, so I thought I'd make that for. Anyways, so it felt pretty cool because I'm like walking down Bloor Street carrying this big, I mean not like Kelly big, but this like big Hermes bag to hold this little lipstick. So let's go through what they put in my bag um, and talk about it. So the first thing they gave me, I'll move my phone over. The first thing they gave me is their magazine and it is thick and like, oh, just like beautiful. And you've got like pictures in it. And like, look at that just like thick and beautiful. I've never had one of these before, um, thing to look at. And then they also gave me this other little tiny thing, which at first I thought was a notepad, but it's not. It's just another like inspirational picture thing. So then they gave me a piece of tissue paper. Toss it over there. And then they gave me this little envelope, little folder here that has my receipt in it. So that way I don't have to think about how much money I spent. And then they gave me another envelope. Like they really go all out. And this envelope has all of the lipsticks that we swatched. And it was kind of neat because of COVID. Um, you know, I've never gone to try their lipsticks in a non-COVID world, but instead of swatching them on you or letting you try them on or whatever, they circled them with the lipstick on here. So at least you like a sense of the lipstick. I mean, nothing's as good as putting it on. I did think that was kind of cute. Cute little memento. Little perfume I got to smell in the card. But let's get to the main event. Oh, and before we get to that, they also gave me some samples. And they put the samples in this little pouch. And then they gave me uh, two different sample cards and two little lip brushes. So this is the way the lipstick comes. It comes in a beige box, which I thought it was going to be orange, but it comes in a beige box with round Hermes ribbon. So we're gonna untie that. Then you open up the beige box and you get to an orange box. So let's, looks like the little classic. Then you slide it out and then, <laughs> you get to this little beige fabric dust bag, and then you get to the lipstick. So the lipstick tube is absolutely stunning. It has sort of like a brushed gold um, bottom with their logo on top, and then a white and uh, black top. So you pull it off, so white cap, has a nice like heavy, and you kind of feel that little magnetic and then you open it up and there's the lipstick with Hermes embossed on it. So the color I chose is Rose of Spice, so like spicy rose, basically Rose of Spice, a piss, spice in French. There's my cat, suffering separation anxiety. I'm so excited. So because when I tried in the boutique, they couldn't put it on me because of COVID, this is gonna be my first time putting it on.
So it has this beautiful, lightweight, smooth feel. Let's go to smell. It doesn't really have a scent to it. This was in their satin finish. So what was really cool um, is that their satin and mattes actually had a different bullet type. Um, just a different tip. I think the matte one was more square, like more sharper, uh, whereas this one was rounded. But it feels so nice on my lips. Let's take a look. I think it looks so pretty. This is like such an Atlanta color though. I was like, ooh, is it a touch peach, a touch warm? So I'm just putting it back in its little box for now. But the other things I wanted to do was try these samples that they gave me. So next up, I wanted to try this Rouge Orange, which was like the Hermes sort of like red orange color. So. What I was really excited about is I, I, I told the lady at the lipstick counter that, you know, I was probably going to get a neutral because if I can't try it on, it's just safer and easier um, to know that I'm not going to be disappointed. But I said, you know, if I was able to swatch, so like these are the colors that really attracted me. And so she pulled out some samples. So what I've decided is I'm going to try these samples. And if I like them, not tomorrow, but, you know, over the next, I'm just using my little brush, over the next little bit, maybe after Christmas or maybe before Christmas, I don't really know, I will go and uh, pick up some more. Ooh, this is pretty. So this is Rouge Orange and it is so beautiful. For me, this is definitely a springtime color or even like a going to Paris color. So maybe, maybe next time I go to Paris, I'll buy this. But this is definitely a springtime color and a color I'd love to add to my collection, maybe in March or April as those sort of Christmassy, not Christmassy, like springtime colors. You can tell I have Christmas on the mind, just sort of start sort of to come through. But it feels beautiful and it looks beautiful. And so the next color that I have a sample of is a color that I was sort of hoping for a beautiful Christmas red. So this is another satin and it is called Rouge Pigment. Rouge Pimot? Rouge Pimot. I should add that that orangey one definitely left a bit of a stain on my lips, which is something I'm not gonna complain about. And this color is again absolutely beautiful. I I love it. <sighs> so after tax, um, one lipstick came to just over a hundred dollars. I want to say it was like a hundred and two, um, which is a lot. I'm gonna not keep it in this. I will keep the ribbon in the bag, but I'm gonna keep this over with my makeup. So I want to tell you a little bit about sort of why I wanted to go and how it came up. So last, so I'm sitting on a bunch of vacation days for work. And uh, so I decided last week to take a day or two off and just, I don't know, clean up my apartment, go shopping, um, hang out, I don't know, just not work. And so I decided on Thursday or for Thursday that I had a, well, Things were a little different when I booked these plans with COVID. But, um, I mean, it's always been bad, but the rules keep on changing. And so I had a friend um, who wanted to get together and we are um, members at like a club that has a restaurant downtown and a beautiful heated patio. So we decided to get together with my husband for dinner. And I was like, well, I'm already gonna be downtown. And I wanna do something just special on my day off. You know, something fun, something that feels like a vacation. And so I decided that I would book an appointment at Hermes. And I knew that I wanted to get a lipstick. I'd heard such great things. Um, one of my friends, Kathy, who might be watching this if you are, hey, um, she speaks very highly of their lipsticks. And so I thought it'd be fun to get a lipstick. And I was also very interested in getting a Bastilla, which is like their little coin purse, um, because they're at a pretty reasonable price point, like for Hermes for a small other good. And uh, so I decided to book an appointment. And down the line, not today, not tomorrow. Um, I would love to get a Kelly bag. Now I know that before I get a Kelly, I need to buy a house. I need to get a promotion. Um, 
I would also really love to buy an investment property. Um, look, there's, there's a lot of things that are going to happen for me before I buy a Kelly, but I know that in order to buy a bag at Hermes, you kind of have to play the game and I don't love the idea of the game, but you know, that's how it works. And so I decided that, you know, building a relationship with a sales assistant with an SA and starting to make some small purchases, um, would probably be a good idea. Um, and again, I'm not in a rush. This isn't tomorrow, but this is the first step in my Hermes journey. I do have two scarves, uh, but I bought those pre-loved, so they don't really like help on your purchase history. Um, so I went in to try lipstick. I bought one. We did look at some Vestillas. They were very nice, but they didn't have one that was like the leather color combo of my dreams. I realized that I love the way the Evercolor leather felt in my hands. Um, but I didn't like the colors they had. They didn't have a lighter pink. They didn't have like a royal blue. So we're gonna just, you know, I'm gonna go back after Christmas, maybe January, February and try again. I'm not in a rush, but I do wanna start just building that relationship and making some small purchases here and there. Now, my thing with the small purchases is um, I refuse to buy anything I don't actually want or need and I'm not in a rush. So that's kind of, that was my first trip to Hermes. It was really beautiful. I had a beautiful experience. Um, it was a bit of a crazy day, but I had a beautiful experience and I had so much fun. So definitely looking forward to going back either before Christmas to buy this lip color um, or the new year to get a Bastia. Not in a rush, but uh, I had a lot of fun. So anyways, the other, oh, the other thing we'll add is that in Toronto to go to Hermes right now, you do need to call ahead and have an appointment. No browsing, just COVID. So yeah, anyways, that is my unboxing and first impression of my new Hermes lipstick and sort of a little chat about the start of my journey. Um, yeah, I had a great time. The lipsticks are beautiful. What more can I say? So let me know if you want a more in-depth review or anything like that. But I just want to share this with you guys. I thought it'd be fun. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mwah.